in this session, you will see how to develop your SAP UI5 project in the SAP Cloud Platform using a simple trial account. If you don't have an SAP Cloud Platform account, please sign up for free following the steps in this tutorial. By the way, during this course, we are going through many, many libraries from the SAP UI5. So if you want to get a hint or if you want to check the documentation for each of these functions and, and libraries we are going to use, just go to sapui5.hana.ondemand.com and you will find a bunch of documentation and here you can have the API reference as well. So if you want to look at the SAPM library, you can see all the components here, so enjoy it. This is how our app will look like at the end of this exercise. We will have two views. First one, the main view, having one button calling the service layer page. At the right side, you see the second view, which is the service layer page with a load button, which will trigger the service layer get method for the list of products. This exercise is divided in three parts. In the first video, you will see how to create a project using SAP Cloud Platform and develop your main view. In the second video, you will see how to develop the service layer view. And in the third video, you will finally see how to develop the controller and how to bind the data to the view. In this session, you see how to create an SAP UI5 project in this SAP Cloud Platform and how to develop the main view for this application. Now that you have already set up your account in SCP, you just go to your cockpit and home overview. You should see this screen. So we want to run the web IDE service, which is the tool we are going to use to, to develop our SAP UI5 development. So just head to the Europe trial here, which is the infrastructure host by SAP in Europe. So we are going to use this one as the main node and I'm going to click on my account. So in my account here, we have several um, features in the left menu. Uh, what we want to run is the services and we want to, to look for the web IDE service. I'm going to just type here web and it will come the web IBE. You're going to see this is already enabled here and then it will open the service description and a link so that we can go to the service. So just click go to service and it will open the, the web ID so we can start developing our application. So we want a new template from SAP UI5. Right click the workspace here, new, and then we're gonna work with a, with a template, with a project from a template. So just click project from template we're going to ask you uh, what template you want to use. So we want to use the SAP UI5, um, the SAP UI5 application, and then we have to select here the correct version for our application for our SAP UI5, which is in our HANA server. In my case, the SAP UI5 I have in my HANA server is the 1.28, which is this one. So if you want to learn What's yours? You just need to go to this uh, URL here and then you're going to see what version you have for your SAP UI5. So in my case, I have the 1.28.39. So what's important here is to identify the first three uh, digits here. So 128 and this is what we're going to select here, SAP UI5 version. OK, here you, we're going to select SAP UI5 application and then hit next. We are going to give a name for the project. So in this case, it's the UI. Then you're going to hit next. SAP UI5 supports multiple view types. You can choose XML, JSON, JavaScript, or HTML. In this training, we will use the JavaScript project. And for the name of the view, we're going to select main. This will be the main which will host all the other views and will link the other views in our application. So this will be the main view as we want it to do. So we will just hit next and finish. You're going to see uh, this template will come 
with several files already prepared so that we can work uh, very easily with our application. So here we go. We have a project JSON, a new app JSON, and then what's most important here, we have a web web already built with the controller, model, and view. So we've been introduced to the MVC concept earlier in this course, and here we can see what files we are going to, to use. This is the main controller, JS, which is the file we are going to control the behavior of our application. So here is the model, and here is the view. Okay, so every every and each one of them in its own um, folder as we have seen this is a, a, a very um, good way of keep control and maintenance and and make it very easy to develop our application the index page will contain a kind of parent control over the pages of our application SAP UI5 offers many options to develop that parent control and as you can see here the template comes with the shell for this exercise, we choose to work directly with the app to do the parent control, as it offers many and simple navigation capabilities. So right now, what we want to do is to get rid of this piece of code here in, in the script um, tag. Uh, and then what we're going to have is we're going to instantiate our application. So just declare a variable called app and this application will be a, an instance of the SAP M app which uh, will be the initial page uh, the main page will be the initial page so this will be main main page fine then what we want here is the main page as well so var main page which will be a SAP UI view and here we are going we are declaring the MVC components here so the ID for this page will be the main main page view name will be the UI view main is the folder so we are going we are working with the UI here view here and main which is the name of our file here okay and then type SAP UI core MVC view JS, which is the type we want the in the this view. So once we have already declared the main page, we can just add our page to our application. So we are going to do an add page here and add the main page to our app and finally place it as a content. Let's now work to define our main page, which will be composed by a main view and a main controller. In the main view, we will define the view components for, for the initial page. Uh, and they are basically a button and the title of this page. And we will have to define that when we press this button, the page has to navigate to the service layer page, which will be uh, the next view we will be doing so uh, it comes with a, a page defined already with a title and a content to be filled in it has the application defining the initial page and then it returns the application as we are using the container for the application in the index file we can just get rid of this part of the code and then here we will define our page which will be the main page and the title we will define in the internationalization resource. As you know already, TAP UI5 supports the internationalization resources and we can define our files for automatic translation here in this folder, in the i18n folder inside this i18n properties file. Here it's already defined by the template the title for the page. Let's come back first to the main view 
and and define the page and then we go and define our, our texts for the title and for the button for the components we want to to be automatically translated by the browser so first of all we need to define here our our main page we already have a new sap m page defined the title we would just do a little change here instead of using title we will use title men then we will have in the content here we will define the new sap m button uh, we'll have a text and the text will also be automatically translated we will use the internationalization resource for the button as well and we will call it button service layer so that it can be automatically translated we will give it a width to keep some standards here so 150 pixels and let's define the behavior of this button the behavior of this button will be controlled by the controller so let's define here controller on press go to service layer so that's the function we need to define in the controller and then we are setting this as the controller okay so we should be fine here let's just before closing this we need to return the main page so here we should return the main page and that should be enough for the view let's now open the controller and find the controller for the main view in the main controller we should have the behavior of the button controlled and define the resource model properties file for translation so let's first define the function that we have for the button let's go back here to the main page and get the name of the function we need to define in the controller i will copy it and paste here so we have to define the function and for this function we want to do uh, an app to service layer page the button will navigate to the service layer page service layer page is not yet defined so we will define the service layer page uh, later on let's now focus on defining the function for the initialization of the internationalization resource so how to make our page automatically translatable let's do it on the on init function we will work here defining now our local resources for the translation so first of all we need to define what our resources for the translations and our resources will be placed in the i18n so sap ui dot local resources and then we will define the i18n then we have to define the resource model property file itself so we have already defined the, the local for this file and now we have to to say what's the name of the file so let's just decorate here the resource model and it will be a new instance of the sap ui model resource resource model and then the bundle name for the file is it is placed in the i18n folder the property file will be i18n this should be okay to so that the system can uh, find our resources now we need to assign the model object to the sap ui5 core using uh, the name you have just defined here for that we are going to do uh, sap ui 
get core set model o resource model and say it is the i18n we have defined before so with this we should be fine to get our page automatically translated using the i18n properties file okay now we have to set two labels in this file because we have defined here in the view the button service layer and the title man so let's copy and paste the title man and the button service layer um, in the 18 property file so title main will be b1 app demo based on sap ui 5 and the button will be service layer uh, here you have uh, something here on press go to service layer we are missing here this and now it's uh, saying that the apps not defined okay this is a uh, warning from the ES linked avoid that we can just place here that the app is already defined in a global context so we can say here global app true this will be defining and saying to the ES link to uh, avoid issues with this specific variable which is already defined in a global context now let's save it we have already defined the labels here so let's run and check the results so now we, we need a new page for the service layer so by hitting this button we want the app to navigate to the page which we will call the service layer objects so let's let's go right now and design the new view and controller for the service layer page.